Hi guys, Brain the Squirrel Lion back with another video and we are returning with some more Dorky Dorky. I know I've been promising that I'd be coming back to it for a while, uh, but yeah, the time's finally here, we're getting back into it. Now you probably remember where we left off was Siori had just committed suicide, which really, really blew me away. I, I, was, I was expecting something big, but probably not that. It, it was just impactful. Um, I've got a feeling that Monica's behind all of this. It's literally just the way the way she is. She's broke the fourth wall and everything. So yeah, and if it's not her, then it's going to be Yori. Yori's kind of been creeping me out a little with these poems. Watch it just blow my mind and it's all to do with bloody Natsuki or something. Uh, but yeah, as you can see here, Siori's been taken out and replaced with an amalgamation of the rest of the characters and literally if I go to the character files there's no more Siori in the character files so yeah uh, I, I do love the way that the game's kind of just gone into it and ripped actual files away from it but yeah uh, enough of me waffling on about everything that's gone on so far let's jump straight back into it Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. You don't really need to join a club to meet girls. Go out. Do fun stuff. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's, al there's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. School is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to deal with. Uh, to want to deal with, sorry. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Ryan? Oh, crap, yeah. This is, this is where Siori was meant to jump in, and it, I was about to say, is, is that Siori? But she's been deleted. But yeah, Monica pulls herself in. Good old Monica. Monica? Oh my goodness. I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. Yeah, it's not so sweet if you're the one causing all this, honestly. I can't jump straight to it and say that Monica is the cause of all this, but I've got my suspicions, it's just, she's too suspicious. We do know each other, well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class, smart, beautiful and athletic, I'm sure we've gone through all this. Like, is a lot of this going to be repeated? Basically, completely out of my league. I think a lot of this is going to be repeated. Uh, but I don't want to skip through it all, because if I skip through it all, I may miss something. And, yeah, if I miss something, I'll be completely gutted. This game has been brilliant so far. <coughs> so having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Uh, what did you come in here for, anyway? Oh... I've just been looking for some plies to for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check in the closet. American was the I'm, I'm sticking with American, I, I'm pretty sure it was her voice. You're in the de debate club, right? Uh about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. I feel like nothing but arguing about the budget. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A litter of fucking hell. Literature club. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm to expect a lot of that. 
a lot of the weird glitches. Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> that's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find any new members for, for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know. Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She's always insisting that manga is literature too. Literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, as a mem a member is a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Brian. Any chance you're still looking for a club to join? Uh. I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you would do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but... Could you at the very least visit my club? It would make me really happy. Please? Um... Well, I guess I've got no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? She may be a demon person. Beware. Sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, awesome. You're really sweet, Brian, you know that? It, it's nothing really. Shall we go then? I look forward to I'll look forward to the materials another time. Oh, I look forward. I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. Oh lovely. It's nice to feel important. And thus marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smell. Wasn't that cupcakes last time? Today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Fair enough, I guess. I timidly follow Monica across the school and up the stairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for the third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the door to the classroom. I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. Fucking hell! Calm! Eh, a guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Brian. Hmm, all, word, all words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Yeah, we've gone through all of this before. So let me guess, you're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, no I'm not. Natsuki? The girl with the sour ats attitude, whose name apparently is Natsuki, is one I don't recognise. Her small figure makes me th think she's probably a first year. Lemonade. Mm. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. No, the vice president was Sayori. No, you're not just gonna... You, we're not just gonna ignore the fact that she's gone. Uh, we're not having that. That's not on. It, it's nice to meet you. It was a posh kind of accent for her, weren't it? I remember definitely that Natsuki was Scottish. But Yori, I think it was like a posh accent I tried. I'm not sure. Yori who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet you both. So I ran into Brian in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica. Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought in anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, it just, I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? I'm really bad at with all of these bloody voices. Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come and sit down, Brian? Brian? The girls have a few desks arranged in the form of a table. Yuri walks to the corner of room, the room and opens a closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. Uh, if a lot of this is the same, I might just edit it out 
just so you guys only see the new stuff rather than having to sit and waffle through all of this because a lot of it does seem like it's just the same narrative repeated over and over and it'd be kind of a piss take to get you to sit and watch that hold on there's still one problem eh? eh? what's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made a decision. I still have other clubs to look at and um, I lost my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. It was four girls. But, but, I'm sorry I thought. Hmm. Eh? The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. Ah, uh, I guess I need to tell you the truth, Bran. The thing is, we don't have enough members for it to be an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one before the festival, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if, every, so if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the Literature Club. One by one, the girls' eyes lighten up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Bran? Yeah. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment there. I mean, if you're just... If you really just left after all of this, I would be super pissed. Brian, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a good time, okay? Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone? I think with that, we've officially ended today's meeting. On a good note. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yori, and of course, Monica. And Siori. Fuck off. <laughs> I want Siori back. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I just need to make the most out of the circumstances. I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. I'm going to have to write the poem again, aren't I? Uh, oh, you have unlocked, uh, unlocked a special poem. Okay. Oh, oh, why? Why? <laughs> this is weird. This is weird. Whoa, what the hell was that? That wasn't a poem, that was just a fucked up amalgamation of everyone. Oh, but yeah, uh, we'll save it here. And this time, uh, we went for Natsuki last time, so I feel like we should push more towards Yori here, because I did feel kind of bad for leaving Yori out. Uh, even though she's kind of freaky, like, her poems might just be that, a little bit freaky, but that's just how she expresses herself. So yeah, let's go with, let's go with Yori this time. Uh, ooh, Disarray. Uh, bliss, Pain, Cry. Let's go Pain. Passion, Awesome, Twirl, Ribbon. No, it's got to be, what's that, Despise. Right, one more. Uh, graveyard. Right. So we got her for every single one there. This that's like the perfect poem already hanging out. What's happening with your face? You need to calm Yori. Right. Thanks for keeping your uh, thanks for keeping your promise, Brian. I hope this isn't too overwhelming for of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Whoa, ho, 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 Natsuki now. Oh, calm yourselves. Calm. I, I can't deal with this all happening. 
Uh, one minute. Oh crap, right, I'm going to try to zoom in on this, but there's a picture in the background. There's a picture in the background of Sayori hanging herself. That is fucked. That's fucked, right. Oh, wow, this game. This game. Uh, Natsuki. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. You already... You already had to be dragged in here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Uh, I can't even read it. What are you doing in front of the text? Move, knobhead. <laughs> you shouldn't be in front of the text. Uh... <laughs> Natsuki... Oh, is everything gone... Yeah, everything's slanted. The game's got so much going on right now, I'm kind of loving it. It's it's all fucked up and I'm kind of loving it. Uh, at the minute, it doesn't seem like anything's happening in here. Maybe I should stay on. Yeah. Oh, one minute. Something is happening. So, uh, we've got a new one. Can you hear me? Uh, can you hear me? There's a little devil in all of us. Beneath their manufactured perception, they're... Artificial reality is a writhing, twisted mess of dread, loathing, judgment, elitism, self-doubt. All thrashing to escape the feeble hold of their host. Seeping through every little crevice they can find into their willpower. Starving them of all motivation and desire. Into their stomach, forcing them to drown their guilt in comfort food. Or into a newly opened gash in their skin. Oh, wow. Hidden only by sleeves of a cute new shirt. Oh, what's going on? Such a deplorable tangled mess is already present in every single one of them. That's why I choose not to blame myself for their actions. All I did was untie the knot. Who wrote this? Oh, and yet... I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the person that wrote this was Monica. I feel like Monica's behind all of this and it's really fucked up. Uh, well, I don't know what's more fucked up. Everything that's going on or the fact that I'm enjoying this so much. Like, there's so much going on and it's very, very immersive. This game is so immersive. But yeah, let's get back into the actual game. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Are we going to get the camera back to normal? I'm sorry, Brian. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yori shoots Natsuki with a disappointing glance. Um, anyway, now that you're eating the club and all, Perhaps you might have an interest in picking up a book to read. Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now, so it only feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. Well, wait. I didn't mean it like that. Uh, if you do, don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Uh, no, it's not that, Yori. I want to be part of this club. Uh, I want to try to be part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'll be happy to pick, a, pick up a book if you want me to. Uh, are you sure? I just feel like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you to get started on something you might like. Yori reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. Oh, we're back on the book part. Right, fair enough. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want. Th this is... Oh, no. How is this girl being accidental accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book that she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yori, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew, 
Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Ah, there we go, the camera's back to normal. Uh, now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense, ex Ooh. intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more, but at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from her reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. <laughs> she, yeah, this is proper high school stuff. She sneaks another glance at me, and our eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in the book. Sorry, I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her feel uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed it in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... Is that the book you gave me? Hmm? I wanted to read reread some of it. I'm probably messing up a little there. Not for any particular reason. Just curious. How come you have two copies? Uh, just curious. How come you have two copies of the same book? Ah, uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, ah, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. <laughs> yeah, I could see your cute little crush there. Fair enough. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's the story about, anyway? Well, hmm... I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an... There's an obvious looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped in there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. Bit of a creepy book, isn't it? But to be fair, she's into horror, so I can't really fault her. But anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. N not, not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like she was, it was going to be a nice story. So, the, so that dark turn came out of nowhere. Ah. Are you really not a fan of that sort of thing, Brian? No, it's not that. I mean, I could definitely enjoy those sort of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri's into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind be seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story is the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things can happen... When horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and weird all and we're all worthless anyway. Jesus! <laughs> that burst out of nowhere. Is that what you really think, Yuri? Are we all worthless? Jesus. Then suddenly uh, I'm I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologise. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But, I feel like I should let you know that I've got this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body something. I didn't see what happened though, my whole body something. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So if I end up saying the wrong saying something strange 
and please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah, that's... well that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? <laughs> stop! <laughs> just stop! Oh, yeah, I'm loving this. I'm loving it. Um, yes. I, I mean, you don't have to, but... Uh, what are you saying? Uh, just let me get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I'd put into my bag. Alright. Uh, Alright, is it fine if I sit here? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah, uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not what I... It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone else. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start reading the prologue. As soon as... I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realise that she's not actually reading her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S sorry I was just so what I need time. I need you to slow down so that I can actually see what's happening. Uh, Yori, you apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean uh, uh, Yeah, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yori's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Ah, oh, I, I suppose so. Yori timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book. Ah, uh, I... Ah, uh, uh, I guess... <laughs> I'm messing up, right. Ah, I guess it kind of makes it difficult to turn the page. Here. Yeah. Oh, we've, we've got in closer. Fair enough. It's the same thing that happened with the whole Natsuki going back and reading the manga with her. Uh, Yuri takes her left arm and begin and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and her forefinger. Ah, uh, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after her. After it, flips to her side. But holding it like this. We're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. Things are getting intimate. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face as she is in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page? Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face and our eyes meet. I, I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, it's okay. You're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. I yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she's finished the page before me, so I turn on my own volition. We continue after the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Working in unison, I like it. Hey Yori, this might be a little silly. This might be a silly thought, but the main character in this reminds me of you a little bit. Eh? N no, I don't relate to this character at all. She's got that look, look of us in. Uh, uh, please don't say stuff. Just let me read. <laughs> Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking that the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Aha. Uh -huh. 
That's what you're talking about. That's what you were talking about. Sorry, I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Uh, never mind. Did we even get that far yet? I don't, so I don't even know why it came into my head. What? Ha <laughs> Are you feeling all right, Yuri? Eh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't, don't push yourself. Oh. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. Alright, she's off. What on earth was that about? Ran? Did something happen just now? Uh, I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say that I do. Are you worried about her? Oh no, not really. Just making sure that you didn't do anything or... Hey! Just assuming. Just assuming. No, nothing. Ah, uh, don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just doesn't does this sometimes. It's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Huh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Right, so we're on to poem time. Are these going to be the same? I've got a feeling these will probably be the same. Let's have a look. Natsuki. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I share mine with her first. Brian, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. But what? Harsh? What? Do you expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. We all started somewhere, right? If you are still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Urgh. Painful to think about. Yeah, she's being a bit bitchy about my poem. It's my... F well, actually, it's not my first poem. If, if we go back and actually think about it. Yeah. I miss Sayori. Fine. Oh, sorry. you get better anyway. I'd tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess i got to show you mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. Eagles can... Yeah, yeah this is the same poem as we saw before. It is brilliant. I, I actually love it. Right, so... Uh, Yuri's not here, so I guess we're showing it to Monica. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, Brian. I was going, ooh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easy for me to keep everyone's expect it's, it, oh, it's easy for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. Uh, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing is full of imaginary and symbolism. Imagery and symbolism. Sorry. Uh, sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that that it's a bad thing though, but sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably much more of an interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must really... She must be really starved for social interaction, so I don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier, I think if she gets a little stimulated, she ends up 
withdrawing and looking for a long time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started reading our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time and I'm so glad you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get my poem now. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound, pr uh, you sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's get reading it then. Hole in a wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced around my s surroundings. But my buried eyes can no longer see colour. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? I don't think we've heard this one. Or are they simply poems on a flat sheet of paper? They sound frantic, scrolling, playing... They sound frantic, scrolling, playing tricks on my ear. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lips. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. I swallow my fears. I brandish my pen. Ooh. I don't know what to make of that. I honestly don't know what to make of that. Hmm. Pretty decent. Uh, yeah, we get to show Yori now. Right. On to the final one, Yori. Right. As Yori reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten up. Exceptional. Eh? What was that? Did I say that out loud? Yori first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. Uh, he's really going to hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yori. Eh, uh, that's... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks again at my poem. Well, I know that. I just mean, um... Yuri trails off, uh, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words of the poem, as if it breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usual, usually typical of new writers. And having been through all of that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable thing I recognise in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form and they form fit the two together. The end result in that both styles both the style and expressiveness are weakened. Once Yori finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanour totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something I can blame you for. There are many different types of skills and techniques that go into writing, even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also, I also hope that everyone else in this club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be, be a little biased though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about other people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologising to herself, me, or Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yori smiles dreamily, as if it's a rare opportunity for her. Is this going to be freaky again? 
uh, which is which itself is kind of funny. After all, it isn't supposed isn't it supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light, the tendrils of my hurt illuminate between the beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm, breathing air of the present. I think that's what it says. But living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Doesn't seem creepy that one. It just seems confusing. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. It was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. The music sounds a little different. Oh no, it sounds normal again. For a second there, it sounded proper weird pitchy. Oh, the pitch is gone from the background. Uh, even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. <clears throat> I guess that's why I ended up getting myself I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yori and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Is this where they kicked off last time? Cause if it is, the person who broke it up was Sayori. So what are we going to do here? Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yori smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Uh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns to the poem. Returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is... Cute. Cute? Did you completely misunderstand the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you had to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um. Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. Well, if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked somebody who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it. And Brian did too. So basically, on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions on my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect to change it anytime soon, unless of course something comes across that's particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm, and Brian liked my poem too, thank you. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Yeah, this is where they have the kickoff. It's going to be Monica's going to make herself the hero of this story, isn't she? She's just going to dive in and just be like, Oh, stop, guys, and they're going to magically stop. Oh, I didn't realise you were inve so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yori. Eh, uh, eh, uh, that's not what I... Eh, uh, you, you're just... Yori stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Brian appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? And how do you know he doesn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grow, grow a bit size bigger as soon as Brian started showing up. But you, calm, calm, calm with the boob stuff. Uh, Natsuki. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! Taking on, taking out your own insecurities on others like that. You're real. Fucking hell. Calm. Uh, you're really act as long as young as you look, Natsuki. Sorry, this is throwing me off. 
the music sped up, the screen's glitchy, fucking hell. Um, me? Look who's talking, you wanna be edgy bitch. Oh, yeah, this has changed a lot. Edgy? I'm sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying something like that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you could counter counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful. You may cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh, is this leading to something? Oh, it is. It's leading to something. Oh, my bad. You're already dead, don't you? D did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? We've got the swearing coming in full force now. Yeah, go on. Let Brian hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Ah. Uh, Suddenly, Yuri turns towards me as if she just noticed I was standing there. Brian, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Uh, a lot of stuff. Oh, I picked Sayori for this last time. Uh, I guess we're trying to impress Yuri this time, so Yuri. Yuri. Yuri, what's going on? It's not letting me pick. It's not letting me pick. Yori. Oh. Hi, Monica. You creepy bitch. Um, she's standing in front of the text again. Mo Monica's weird. M Monica's weird. Uh, um, hey Brian, why don't we step outside for a little bit, okay? I don't want to go anywhere with you. Sorry about that. <laughs> they really should, they really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> the music's gone and everything. You're a creepy bitch, Monica. Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. Are you just trying to get me to spend time with you? Is that what's going on, Monica, you creepy bitch? You're a very, very creepy bitch. Uh, I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Uh, see, I just called it. Monica just wants me to spend time with her. Fuck the rest. Oh, uh, she's com. Uh, I'm not. I'm. I'm gonna say right now, it's her. She's completely wiped. Sayori from the game, and I'm guessing she's gonna wipe someone else before this game's done. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. Oh, it's just casual about it. She just ran off. Well, it looks like they're done. Uh, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palm, palms on her forehead. On her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki, or did. Ryan, please don't hate me. Please, I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, it's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Something doesn't sit right with me with that. Are you, are you going to delete Natsuki tonight and then tomorrow we'll come back and it'll just be, oh, there's two members of the club left. 
Oh, anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. Y you can go first, uh, you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I I'm vice president, so please let me take the responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. Uh, Yuri, careful. Don't piss off Monica. She she knows stuff. She does stuff. She's a creepy bitch. It's it's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Brian. It, it would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I I'm sorry for causing trouble. I really... Whoa! Ah! Did she skip time? She skipped time. Okay, okay, right. We're an hour in, so... I'm gonna save it there. Uh, what I am gonna say is... Uh, Monica, what the fuck? Oh, you, you messed up. Monica is messed up and... Oh, she's messing with my mind, people. This woman is completely fucking gone. Oh, I can't wait to see what happens next. I honestly can't. This this game seems to be tackling real issues, as well as getting you fully immersed in the game and everything. This game is just perfect. I love it so much. Um... But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you did like it, give it a like. Um, next episode, I'm going to try to complete the full rest of the game, because I know we're up to like part 5 now. I think this is part 5, which means the next one will be part 6, so it seems like I'm dragging it out a bit, which I don't mean to do. But yeah, next, next episode, I'll try to completely finish the game, even if it takes a couple of hours. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments about everything that's going on in this. Because it's just completely fucked. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you can always stay up to date on my content. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.